What's up? So there's something very specific that makes a camera rig like this work. There's also something that makes a lighting setup like this out in the forest work. What is it? Well, just stay tuned, you'll find out. Okay, so right now I feel like everyone's talking about the new cameras that are coming out or the new phones or the new computers. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna be talking about something a little bit less exciting, but honestly, it's probably a piece of gear that will stick with you a lot longer than any camera or phone or probably even computer will. And what that is, is batteries, and more specifically, V-mount batteries. Juicebox was nice enough to send me a few of their batteries as well as some accessories, so I kinda of wanted to show you what you can do with a V-mount battery like this. So just a really quick disclaimer, although Juicebox did send me this gear, I'm not being paid and I'm not required to say anything nice about these batteries. This is gonna be my honest and unbiased opinion. Now, V-mount batteries have been a part of filmmaking since I believe the year 2000. So about 20 years V-mounts have been around and they've been a big part in either rigging up a camera and making it last all day by running it off of one of these batteries or you can also rig up things like lights and be on location with really nice studio lighting just using a V-mount battery like this. Now, if you're not quite sure why they are called V-mount batteries, it's simply because of the way that the mount is actually shaped. As you can see, it looks like a V, and that's how it locks in to the battery mount, which I'll get into a battery mount that Juicebox also sent me as well. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown on some of the features of having a V-mount battery like this. So the cool thing about V-mount batteries is that they have higher voltages than normal camera batteries would. So you can power multiple things off of one V-mount battery. This one is a smaller one by Juicebox. This is a 95 watt hour battery, but they also sent me Another one that's much bigger, I'll show you. Look at this bad boy. This one is a 150 watt hour V-mount. So this one is one that I would probably use on a light because lights are gonna draw a lot more power than say a camera rig would. And if I wanted to keep my camera rig light, I would definitely use something like this because this is gonna be a lot easier to tote around than something like this. This is about twice the weight as this battery is. So first I'm gonna show you how you can use a V-mount battery like this to rig up your camera. All right, so this is typically how I would have my Panasonic GH3. It's just in a small little half cage here. I got the mic and a lens. And for the most part, I can pretty much run my GH3 like this 95% of the time. But if I was gonna go for a longer shoot, that's where I would wanna have it rigged up a bit with a battery that would last longer and maybe a monitor as well. So that's where V-mount batteries are gonna come in. Juicebox was nice enough to send me this V-mount battery plate, which hooks onto a 15 millimeter rod system. So all I have to do is just put my GH3 onto this base plate and I can pretty much run my entire camera rig with the monitor off of this V-mount battery. JuiceLink also provided this dummy battery which will connect to the V-mount plate and that's what will be running my GH3. So now that we have the dummy battery in the GH3, I can turn the V-mount battery on as you can see with the little LED indicator, it's on and so is my GH3. If I whip the screen out, you can see that it is on and I have power to my GH3. So that's awesome. But one thing about shooting with my GH3, especially with manual lenses or old vintage lenses like these, I definitely like to use a monitor with a system like this. So I'm gonna take my port keys P6, attach it to the little cold shoe here, and then plug in the power from the V-mount battery right in to the input on my Porky's P6. Now honestly, this is kind of overkill and I probably would never use a rig like this on a day-to-day -day basis, but it does serve the purpose of powering all of my accessories and just giving me a lot more of a solid rig to film all day with. So yeah, as I said, it's very rare for me to rig out my camera in that capacity. Obviously it looks really cool and if I wanted to impress a client or maybe if I was shooting all day, a rig like that would make sense. But obviously it's very heavy, it's very big and it's very cumbersome and I don't normally shoot like that. But one of the things that I really like using V-mount batteries with is lights. Now here in my studio, it doesn't really make sense to show off lighting myself with a light that's powered off of a V-mount battery because 
I have wall power here and I can light myself indefinitely because I can just plug right into wall power. But what if you were out in the middle of nowhere, like in a forest or on a mountaintop, and you wanted to have some really bright lights on location so that you can compete with the power of the sun. Now the thing is there are small lights that run off of little Sony batteries like this, which you can take on location and if it's dark enough out and you just need to add a little bit of extra light to your subject, you can use something like this. This is my little Falcon Eyes RX-8 and I have a little tiny soft box umbrella on it. These are really great and if you're in a low light situation and you just need to pop a little bit of extra light, you can do it with something like this. But the problem comes when you're trying to actually compete with the power of the sun. And typically small lights like these just aren't gonna be able to compete with how bright the sun is. So you're gonna need to bring a bigger and more powerful light with you. So maybe something like this. This is the Falcon Eyes RX-12, which is a very bright light. It's a bit bigger, I can put out a lot of light. I use this a lot of the times for interviews. What's really cool about a light like this is that it can be run off of a V-mount battery. And so you could potentially go on location and run a light like this off of a battery like this. So let's go out into the woods and I can show you how you can have some studio lighting basically out in the middle of nowhere without any wall power and power a bright light with a V-mount battery to get a really unique look that you wouldn't really be able to do unless you had a bigger and brighter light with you that's being powered off of something like a V-mount battery. So here we are with a really simple lighting setup here in the woods. And typically if you tried to get a shot like this, exposing for any bits in the background, you're not typically gonna be able to see what's in the foreground. So I'm gonna shut off this light real quick just so you can kind of see just how much of a difference it's making. So as you can see, I'm totally underexposed and it just doesn't look as good. But turning the light back on, we have a nice exposure on my face and it's all being powered with one of these 150 watt hour V-mount batteries attached to the V-mount plate of this little Falcon Eyes RX-12. So using a V-mount to power a much more powerful light makes these kind of shots possible. The really small little lights, they can get you through in a pinch, but typically they're just not powerful enough to overpower the ambient light, especially in a scene like this. Something that I really like about these little juice box batteries is that they can go through about 500 cycles. So I feel like that should last you couple of years at least and there is overcharge protection so you're not going to you know leave these charging and you know fry your battery or something like that which I really really like again I have a 95 watt hour version and a 150 watt hour version this is the kind of battery that I would power this rig off of and the 150 watt hour is what I would typically put on a light like this, just because lights are gonna draw a lot more power than a camera rig would. So here's just one more example of how beneficial it is to have a high powered light on location. If you're gonna try to shoot any scene like this where you're insanely backlit, right now you can actually see the sun is just hitting the back of my head. And in order to expose for anything in the background, the foreground is gonna be insanely underexposed. But again, I can turn this light on that I have with me, powered by the V-mount battery, and boom, I can actually get an exposed shot, even with a insanely backlit situation like we have on right now. So that's just another really big plus for bringing a high-powered light on location with you and powering it off of V-mount batteries. And for all of you adventure filmmakers out there who like to film a lot of interviews out on location in the woods, this is basically a perfect setup. Little V-mount battery, Falcon Eyes RX-12, and you can light yourself even in pretty harsh lighting conditions. So I wanna say a big thanks to Juicebox, who sent me out a bunch of their batteries and some other gear to test out. And I had a lot of fun and I really, really like these. These are really high quality batteries that do what they're supposed to do. And yeah, these might not be as cool as a new camera, but it'll last you a really long time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button and maybe leave me a comment in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can click on either side of my face. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.